Gotham City's denizens plot its demise, while others fought to protect it. Which side will you be on? Welcome to its Chronicles. Each mission will provide possible hero choice, as well as a detailed story and mission objective. The heroes will move, battle, use their special talent and abilities, and sometimes exert themselves to do that extra move, attack, or damage to take down their foes. Besides giving stats for melee, ranged, and move, you can exert yourself by spending these on the left side and placing them in the fatigue box when the action is done. This here will tell you how far you're allowed to exert a character. At the beginning of the round, you must decide if a character will be active or resting. Active characters regain 2 fatigue, while resting characters regain 5 but cannot perform any actions this round besides defending. Teamwork is required to win and the game is freeform meaning you can activate one character, then another and go back to a previously activated character and resume their action or move. When all are done, the villains will have their turn to break apart the band of heroes. They'll choose to activate one, two or none of the tiles in the river. This is the cost of exertion needed to activate specific villains. Less will be required on the left side, while more will be required on the right. When done, the activate tiles will move to the back of the line, requiring more energy to use them next turn. But you'll gain energy at the beginning of the round, as listed here. The terrain will have line of sight, levels, ground, medium or high, and hazards or closed doors. These require more movement points to get in or out of. Keep in mind your encumbrance as well, as this will affect your move or outright negate special talents or abilities you have. Battle is determined by dice, like any good old-fashioned miniature game, and some will have rerolls or show you which colored dice to roll. Wound tokens from unsuccessful defense will have you move any fatigue gems into the wound zone. If all your fatigue gems are in the wound zone, your KO then can only take the rest action, recovering 5 gems from the wound zone into the fatigue one. Each mission will have a victory conditions for both the heroes and villain side. The first one, for example, will have you battle Bane in the subway to defuse two bombs out of the four by the sixth round or risk making Gotham Hospital above ground crumble. Heroes can disarm these, even remotely if they have hacking skills and are near a computer terminal. But the villains can also rearm these bombs, so make sure you defend them. By the end of the time period, you'll see which side wins as Batman Chronicles of Gotham unfolds. And there you have Batman Chronicles of Gotham in a really tiny nutshell. The lines between miniature games and board games are blurred much more than ever and this one is a prime example of that. A remake of Conan from the same company, this one takes place in one of my most beloved DC city, Gotham. And the artwork is of course by the same great artists that make the DC covers. That said, how does it live to the hype? Well, in the end, this is a dice chucker, but before that end, I do love the freeform style of how you choose to activate your heroes first and even the ability to go back and react them later. So the game not only provides tactical choice, but also the possibility to react to certain outcomes should your plans have gone awry. So tactic and strategies are there and mitigation of the dice roll will come from rerolls and exertion you place on certain actions to give you that edge. Now, while the artwork is absolutely gorgeous, the graphic design certainly could have used a huge remake. A lot of the hero abilities look the same, and while they're all listed in all these pages in the rulebook, there's not one reference cards for easy referral. And a lot of these problems become more apparent with Kickstarter companies that rely on produced massive quantities of minis at a crazy price at the cost of some other vital components needed in the game. You'll be rifling in the rulebook every second which really takes you away from the theme of the game. And that was a real shame for me. Sure, it'll take time to get used to it, but with the setup and everything, we don't all have the luxury of time to get familiar with a game. I may be biased as I'm not much of a miniature gamer, but I've played many before and this one has basically a very cool exertion mechanic already used in Conan, with the encumbrance rule being cool as well, but really everything else is a repetition of miniature games from the past. And as I said, I may be biased, but if you like miniature games and Batman, you won't be disappointed in this. For us, it scores an average score of 7 out of 10.